how do I get to where we need to go? Somehow in a this way direction, except I think we probably need to go out. Or swing, swing wide, excuse me, pronunciation. Oh look, another waterfall? That worked so well last time. We seem to be lighting a trail, even if it is creepy. No one dead to worry about this time. Which I appreciate. Just bones in the dirt. In the swamp. It's a weird looking plant. Where am I going? I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm in it. Might as well get this thing if I can find it. Better not be up there. That better not be what you're telling me right now. I'm pretty sure there's n nothing back this way. Yep. Yep, I knew it would end. It's up, it's up there. Damn it. Excuse me, boys. Excuse me. Sorry, Dorian. Alright, that's a get later. Or... No, this won't go up high enough. Pretty certain. Oh, it will. Never mind. Come on. There's a cave. Good to know. Question mark. Excuse me. It's up more. Up further. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There's a locked... Door? Locked door where? Okay. Below me or in that thing or whatever. I wanted. Oh my gosh. Just keeps going. Fortress gates. Huh! Hello. <laughs> Yeah, um, I just want the thing. I'm not here to attack you. Where is it? Over there, I see it. I will take that. Okay, so hopefully this isn't too difficult. Hmm, let's start... Let's start here. Down, up, down. Let's try that. Um, ah, okay. Mm, let's restart.
mountains. Belenus. According to Avar legend, Korth the Mountain Father kept his throne at the peak of the mountain Belenus, which lay at the center of the world and was so lofty that from it he could see all the corners of the earth and sky. Over time, bold young Avar would challenge each other to scale the mountain of the gods. At first, Korth found this amusing, and he delighted in the valor of their failed attempts to enter his hold. Then Sindri, Skybreaker, oldest of the heroes of old, succeeded in climbing to the summit and stood in the hall of the Mountain Father in the flesh. Korth, being a good sport, gave Sindri a hero's welcome, and the mortal returned to the Frostbacks with tales of the feasts of gods and gifts from Korth, and soon more and more heroes were barging into the hall of the Mountain Father, demanding to be showered with honors. Korth grew wary of throwing banquets, and the other gods began to fear his temper. So Korth spoke to the Lady of the Skies and lifted Belenus from the earth into her realm, which could not be reached even by the most intrepid climber, and there he dwells in peace. So um, one of the theories that's, that goes around is a lot of the Avar stories relate to the Chantry. So here we have the, the mountain rising into the sky, and maybe that's also uh, the Black City in the fade so it's it's something to think about that these all kind of tie together so this is this is open now okay i want to figure out hmm i wonder if we should leave this for now and come back i don't know maybe not one of these ruins Maybe all the ruins are story related? I don't remember. It's been a while. Mm, I might fight these guys. Take it back. Gonna get oh I got full good Now we're good. Um, where is it? It's up on the bridge. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. Come on, there we go. Frozen gate. The gate remains frozen even at the height of summer. A piece of ice chiseled from the hole remained unmelted in a bucket of warm water. Even withstanding the heat of burning embers, I've never seen such magic. Our Avar guide, Ragnar, will tell me nothing about what lies beyond the frozen wall. I've exhausted all possibilities and shall have to accept that I will never pass beyond that gate. I've retained the piece of ice for my own use. Its properties make it perfect for chilling my cider on hot days. I shall take pleasure in this and try not to fixate on my unsated curiosity. Sir Nigel, explorer in night. Let's go ahead and walk up here. Winter architecture at its finest. This just screams I hated my parents and had no friends as a child, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. I thought we'd get a little more dialogue than that, but I guess not. Maybe later. Let's go get this riff that's hanging out right in front of our face.
sir. Here's another one. Oh, there's two more. And not gonna get that other one. Demons. Got it. Uh, did not realize there was one right behind me. Fall, don't fall, don't fall. Ah. Uh. Is the loot down there? <laughs> You've killed lots of my countrymen, I take it. Sure, usually when I'm being paid for it. What? Never just for fun. I'm here, aren't I? Man's gotta take his fun where he can find it. Ah! Walk right past it. Stuff! It's like coal leveled, maybe? Yeah, coal leveled. is this thing it was weird that the rift was right on top of it i think there was something similar with the red lyrium in um in priest de leon where we found imshale i think there was a very similar device there where is this locked door If it's back inside, probably no. I was just wondering if there was a lower level, but it doesn't look like it. Let's level coal real quick. How's the map look? Okay. I missed that cave, whatever it is. Keep finding new areas. Colette at the ruins. This is what it looks like. The ancient Imperium did like to leave a mark. I wonder how long they stayed. Mm. Is this where Kenrick's assistant was headed? Yeah, it was. We'll get there. Oh, I walked right past it. Oh, did we mark this? No. Nigel's Point. I absolutely cannot wait to survey and explore Nigel's Point. This was one of the ruins the explorer Sir Nigel visited on his travels through the Frostbacks. So much of what I've learned of this region comes from his notes and sketches. It's appalling to me how little recognition he's received compared to that brother Genitivi, or even that peddler of Pabellum, Philum Abard. I wonder if I could discover the original purpose of Nigel's Point. Its ancient Tevinter name, of course, has been lost, but I'm certain it was built and dedicated to an old god. I wonder which one. If I could learn this... Of course, Harding gives me a severe look every time I suggest I could just stroll over one morning. She insists it's too dangerous. She worries too much. 
Colette's research journal. It is dangerous. She's a scout. She would know. That's her job. Let's see if there's anything up here. There's a ladder. Hey guys. <laughs> Ta da! There's another giant body. I got a schematic. Where are they? Oh, they're over there. Ah, let's go do it. Oh gosh, there's more of them. What the heck? go. Oh, Dorian fell down. That's fine. He'll get back up. Got him all. Oh, and he leveled. Good. Oh my god, why are you still here? Jeez, Louise! Huh. I think I only got, like... One thing of loot for all that. Let's level Dorian. Alright, let's figure out where Colette went. Is this a door over here? It's a something. Yeah, what is that? To she who winds the skin of wisdom, we dedicate the citadel. Dragon of mystery... Bestow upon your faithful servants your ineffable truth. Grant us eyes to pierce the darkness and souls to bear the wounds of your labyrinth. She who winds the skein of wisdom. So. That would be used to figure out which dragon god it's supposed to be. You may want to see this. Okay. Should I read this first? Inquisitor! I was going to send word. I found something. This inscription, almost completely faded, but two stood, felt sixty true before our triumph. A breath in the hunt, and let rest the lowlanders, worthy of the lady's care. The markings and surrounding artifacts date to Ameridan's time. The references and scripts suggest Avar. 
Go on. What's your theory? I need to complete a full survey and have Professor Kenrick evaluate the site himself. But this may be a tribute to Heron and Orina, Inquisitor and Meriden's companions. Um, how would you know? What makes you think the inscription refers to Heron and Dorina? It's only a theory, but the age of the markings and surrounding artifacts match the timeline we've established for Emeridan. I found glass fragments in the clay, several with slight veins of discoloration. Blue. Like Templar artifacts. Templars? The Templars were a new order in Emeridan's time. Given their small numbers then, few would be found outside the Chantry's reach. It's unusual to find one deep in uncharted territory, unless he traveled here for a purpose, as Heron would have. And what about Emeridan? You don't think the inscription could refer to Emeridan himself? It's possible, but Emeridan would have been recognized as a leader, which the inscription might have noted out of respect. And a breath in the hunt? Why note that your hunt continues unless your remaining prey was someone important? Okay. What happened here? What happened here? An encounter with ancient Avar, and not a friendly one. Ameridan and his companions were outnumbered in an unfamiliar place. If Ameridan's not here, perhaps someone bought him the time needed to keep going? And the Avar paid respect? If this is the resting place of Heron and Durinna, it only remains because the Avar took time to honor them. Respect for a worthy adversary? It wouldn't be out of place. Hmm. Tell me about Orina. What can you tell me about Orina? Orina was an alchemist in Orzammar. It's said she met Emeridan while dealing with a demon, but it's not known why Emeridan was there. Demons aren't common in the deep roads, but they were a problem for the Inquisition at the time. Arina knew she could help, so she joined Ameridan. Was she exiled? If she left Ozamar, that would make her a surfacer. She turned her back on the stone, though it's said she had few regrets. Some claim she was actually from one of Ozamar's noble families, but who can say? She never used her last name on the surface, and once exiled, the family likely struck her name from personal documents. Professor Kenrick petitioned Orzammar's Shaperet to grant access to their records, but the request was turned down. Of course it was. Tell me about Heron. What do you know about Heron? When the Templar Order was first formed, Sir Heron was among its members. He's arguably the most famous of the original Templars, though he was never one of their leaders. He's better known as one of Inquisitor Emeridan's confidants. They'd known each other since youth. So they were friends? So they were close. Friends. When Emeridan was made Inquisitor, Heron's position in his inner circle was assumed. A few ballads about them survive. The type with adventures and happy endings, <laughs> I don't know if they're true. They remind me of my brothers, though. She's just swinging that sword around, like, you might want to put it down. What do you do now? What will you do with this information? Professor Kenrick will expect detailed notes on the location, stone and clay samples, and any trace artifacts I can find. If Ameridan's history is compiled, this could be worth an entire chapter. I might get credit on the inside cover. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Colette. Inquisitor. An appeal to the shaper. Oh, very nice. Cause we have, we hold weight. Very nice. Okay. Um, let's see what's going on here. Oh, explore the cave. We definitely want to do that. That's that's important. I kind of want to head back this way, but I think I'll remember. I don't. Know, maybe. That codex actually doesn't relate to what she was talking about finding, which is why I didn't read it. But it is a poem about a Meriden. How do we even... Uh, 
Is this a way out? No. And it's an invisible wall. Okay. I was looking for a shortcut. Wasn't gonna happen. Oh, I should have gone down instead of up. Oh well. Big old white tree. Yeah, it's not let's not fall to our deaths. I prefer not to do that. fell right off the bridge. Should be a rope down somewhere. Change party. I do think I want to do that. Eh. I'll wait. This will work. This will be fine. Down and down and down and down and down and down and down. <laughs> Where's the, where, where's the cave? Oh, you better not be up. You're up. Damn it. Oh, damn it. Cole, stay where you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Or maybe, maybe it is down? Cause there's no, yeah, it's... Sorry, Cole. Oh, I, I'm very sorry. You're okay. There they are. I'm like, nobody, nobody showed up. What are you dinging? Mushroom. Is that all that's in here? Oh, okay. Everyone's just standing at the door. Where's Anon? Oh, there she is. Story in, there we go. All right, we found the cave. I wanted to go back and let, let him know that we found her. See if he had anything to say. No. I'm gonna walk it for party banter. What is happening here? Inquisitor, Baron Avar Pierre de Montezan. I've come to consult with your soldiers on matters pertaining to natural threat. The beasts of these woods are fierce, and I fear they've already claimed the life of my dear, devoted scribe. Why? Uh, why are you here? What are you doing out here? Once, I was content to remain in the safety of my estate. Then, with the passing of my uncle, I was obliged to join an expedition to the stranger parts of Thedas. How little of our natural world is understood. What terrors creep across the soil while we lie ignorant and ill-prepared. If you knew what I do of the common fennec, you would not sleep. Uh. From that day onward, I have studied the wilds and the beasts therein. And your suggestions would be? Are my soldiers running into problems? They face delays establishing camps due to pests of various nature. Uh, I offered to consider the matter. There is an herb mixture. Correctly placed, it could ward beasts away from their supplies. I would not presume to further involve myself in your organization's military affairs. Perhaps I might entrust these to you. Okay. I should go. Inquisitor. That wasn't like a yes or a no? Your worship. Alright, no. 
I should go. Inquisitor. It's like, oh, I accept the quest. No, I don't have the option to say that. Torn page. Corner of a page. Last words uttered the wretched grin he was. What fate befell the brother was lost with him? Okay. So someone died and it didn't make any sense. <laughs> We met as planned. My esteemed colleagues could not conceive of the possibility, though I had presented the evidence quite plainly. Any scholar may relate to the disheartening nature of such meetings, and I admit I spoke in some frustration then. We parted ways soon after. Later, my feelings restored to a more charitable nature. I found I could not fault them. Had fate and obligation not led me down stranger paths, would I not be as they are now? Have there not been times in the darker hours of the night when my soul has longed for the ignorance which shields one's sensibilities? But while these thoughts ensured kind emotions for my peers, they brought me no closer to my goals. It was thus good and unlooked for fortune that brought to my attention the impending expedition to the Frostback Basin. The Inquisition, a large and respectable institution, would explore the region for secrets of historical nature. I have attached myself as a consultant, for surely the beasts within that wild place will cause some alarm and will fulfill said role as promised. However, time in which to pursue my own interests was secured in the agreement. While Kendrick seeks the past, I will search for mysteries that yet, that yet live. Okay. Beasts at bay. So I, I gotta go find... I gotta go find these creatures, I guess. I wanted to let Kendrick know that we found Colette. Where are we? Okay, we're not even... We're not... There we go. I'm just saying, Dorian, you carry around this picture of the Canari in your mind. Like, you see us as this forbidden, terrible thing, and you're inclined to do the forbidden. I have no idea what you're talking about. All I'm saying is, you ever want to explore that, my door's always open. You are impossible. This is... Oh. Good. I like that energy. Stoke those fires, big guy. You guys want to have this conversation in front of everybody? I mean, it's, it's fine. I don't care, but... Where is... Is that lavender? They put lavender in the game? That's awesome. I want to tell you that I found your researcher. May I help you, Inquisitor? Ah, uh, nope. Next steps? What do you need me to do next, Professor? I'd still like to find out what's on that island. Okay, in the yeah. We know the Inquisitor was in the area. Lady Harding mentioned Avar in the area who aren't hostile, but. Until later. Yeah, okay, so I found her, but he doesn't care. 